This incredible photo from 1891 was taken to show all of these things that women of that era were not supposed to be doing, including wearing what they called short skirts. And to add another layer, this photo was actually taken in a church rectory. Alice Austin, born in 1866, is widely considered one of the very first queer photographers, and her images take a look inside the lives of not just women of the Victorian era, but women who were also presumably in same-sex relationships. Alice herself would meet Gertrude Tate in 1899, and they began a relationship that lasted for 53 years. 30 of those years, they lived in the Austin family home. Alice was born into a wealthy Staten Island family, but her father abandoned them when she was just three years old. So she and her mother lived with their extended family, including uncles and grandparents. In the late 1870s, her uncle gifted her a camera and thus began her lifelong passion for photography. In addition to documenting her own life, Austin was also interested in recording life in New York City. She photographed the plight of immigrants, including the places that they were quarantined when they first came into the country, and the jobs that they had in the streets of the city. Since Austin was independently wealthy, she and Tate were able to live comfortably and travel regularly, but in 1929, when the stock market crashed, Austin lost all of her wealth. They tried renting their home as a tea room for visitors, but this was ultimately unsuccessful, and they ended up having to sell all of their possessions. Ultimately, they were evicted from their home in 1945, and with nowhere else to turn, Austin was forced to move into a poorhouse called the Staten Island Farm Colony. Fortunately, she was able to save all of her photos by donating them to the Staten Island Historical Society before she left her home for good. While they were no longer living together, Tate continued to visit Austin every week. Austin's photos were almost never seen, but fortunately, a historian named Oliver Jensen discovered them in the basement of the Historical Society. He could immediately tell the quality of these images, and he began looking more into them. And at one point, he mentioned to the historians, oh, it would have been great to talk to her. And they said... You can. She's still alive. Here's where you can find her. And so he went to the poorhouse and found her and said that she was very unresponsive at first, but he had brought prints of her photos. And then she began to recognize them and talk to him about the images. And he was able to sell the images to some publications, including a large spread in Life magazine. The funds went to get her into a proper nursing home and out of the poorhouse for good. Austin passed away in 1952 at the age of 86. Austin and Tate wished to be buried together, and Austin was buried in the family plot in Staten Island. But when Tate passed away 10 years later, Austin's family would not allow her to be buried with Austin. Now that Austin is being recognized again, there is a push to get them back together. And the Austin house itself has been refurbished and is open for visitors. Now you know Alice Austin.